Hi guys, welcome back to the Home Combat Channel. So today I'm actually going to show you guys three different drills that you guys can actually do at home. So all you guys will need for these drills is four different type of cones or four different placements. So you guys can use water bottles, I don't know, maybe even use chalk and mark stuff down or even use tape or utilize tape. So by, if you guys could tell by the title of the video, of course we're going to basically get into the, the model shift. I'm going to show you guys how to do the, the model shift or how to practice the model shift using these four cones. But before I get to that, which is on the advanced side, I'm actually gonna show you guys beginner drills that you guys can actually utilize or do with these four cone drills to just kind of get you guys started. Or if you guys are beginners, just learn basic footsteps. Or if you guys just need to like warm up or brush up on just basic boxing, then of course this first drill is gonna be for you guys. The second drill, we're we'll, for the second drill, we will incorporate a little bit more fundamentals, techniques, and tactics of boxing. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how to pivot right, throw some, throw a few punches, and then pivot. And lastly, will be the advanced drill, which, like I mentioned, and you can tell by the title of the video, is of course the model shift. So for our first drill, we won't necessarily need uh, this little bit of space. I mean, if you really want to, you guys could actually make uh, these placements a little bit longer, a little bit wider. It just depends on the type of space that you have. But for the most part, we're just gonna basically work in a space like this, which is, I'm not saying it's like the biggest space, but it is kind of small in comparison to the area that we have, or that we could actually utilize. But basically, all you guys are gonna do is just basic steps. So I'm just gonna stand in the orthodox position, right? And all you guys have to basically do is just remember your basic step fundamentals. So knee foot forward, your foot basically follows that movement. So you're here, right? You're here, you get to the first cone, then you go side to side, right? Side side once you reach the side you go back right back you reach this rear cone over here and then you go back to, to back to this side and you just could basically keep repeating that pattern right just to warm up your feet warm up your feet or just to get a basic understanding on how to move in boxing right move 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 right move and once again if you're just a beginner I mean, I, I would suggest that you guys just kind of look at your feet just to start off. Then once you guys kind of get the hang of it, kind of get the spacing, kind of get a spatial awareness. And if you guys even want to add a little bit more tactics to it, then of course as you're moving, right? You know, besides moving your head, right? As you're moving to the side, as you're moving to the side, as you move back, maybe you want to throw a couple jabs, right? Jab, maybe across, jab, cross, then side to side, right? Side to side, forward, right? Keep moving the head, keep moving the head, keep moving the head, side, right? Side, side. Step back, right, jab, jab. But just to kind of keep it simple and just keep it more on the beginner side. Just take it step by step. Take it very slow. Once you get the hang of it, of course, speed it up, right? Speed it up, right? So speed it up a little bit. And of course, you know, you're gonna be able to flow quite easily. Boom, boom, right? And so forth and so forth. You guys don't necessarily have to move one way, try to switch it up, right? Like maybe when you're here, maybe, you know, step over here, step over here, step over here, and then turn it around right implementing paint right so you don't necessarily have to work it like this right it could be like right you could be over here right and then come back step right if you want to make it a little bit more interesting a little bit more spicy so even though this drill is like I mentioned quote unquote beginner and I'm trying to keep it more on the beginner side I'm just kind of giving you guys ideas for the people that are a little bit more on the intermediate to advanced side just so you guys don't necessarily think that this drill is pointless or useless not nah, man like make sure that utilize a lot of fundamentals, a lot of techniques of boxing. And I'm pretty sure if you guys add your own little, like I said, your own little kick, your own little spice to it, I'm pretty sure you guys could even make it a more advanced, com complicated, complex drill. And one, that, and one that suits you guys quite easily. So make sure that you understand what exactly it is that you're trying to get out of this drill and then just implement it. Just implement it into it. And it's gonna be a drill that's gonna be quite useful, that'll come in handy. And like I mentioned, you don't really need a whole lot of space. For the second drill, we're actually gonna make that square a little bit more tighter, a little bit more compact. So as you guys can tell, it's a little bit more smaller. So basically, I would have to pretend like this is my opponent's space right here. I'm here on the outside. I'm gonna step in with a jab, right? Maybe throw something if I want to, right? A cross or a hook or, you know, whatever whatever combination it is that you guys wanna utilize. So I'm stepping, step in, right? Uppercut, hook cross and then from this position I could either pivot to my left or pivot out to my right so this left pivot out to my right and from this position I could actually throw a couple punches as well and then jab out 
and then I follow the same pattern once again going in bah, bah. and just for the sake of this video I'm actually gonna pivot out this way to my left but I can actually pivot out to my right too but I don't want to give my back to you guys so I'm just gonna pivot here throw a couple punches right boom boom jab out boom and the same thing going forward bah, 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 bah. pivot out this way hook uppercut hook jab out starting point again now once again keep your fundamentals intact right here bah, bah, bah. turn bah, bah, bah. you guys can actually turn back from this position or you guys can step back so it's up to you guys so you guys can come in right here keep your lead foot grounded right here in the center throw a couple punches get back to the center step back or you guys could come in here throw a couple punches back here step out step in turn get back to the center you guys can step in just once and turn and get the new angle if he's not very mobile i think this is one of the most efficient things to do because of the fact that you know that he's not really going to turn that fast with you or he's not going to move with you because more than likely he's a stationary fighter or he's very very flat footed so this position sometimes will give you the opportunity to land big shots or clear shots right or if he's very mobile and you know that he's going to basically chase you and turn with you then sometimes you might need to do that that double pivot pivot out to the side and then put it back again to the center i might just step in pivot i know he's going to turn with me and just to get myself in a more clear angle I'm gonna pivot again. So it's just basically like a double pivot. So it's here and then it's here. And then basically as he pivots out this way, now he's technically facing the direction it, it is that I was going. I may have the opportunity to land something right here because more than likely if I'm here as the opponent and I know that he pivoted out this way, right? I'm basically now the opponent looking this way and basically I incorporated the double pivot. Now technically I would be on this side and I would land a couple punches on my own once again you're either gonna step in throw a shot pivot throw a shot on the inside step out and step back in throw a few shots and then pivot so that's just one pivot and this basically gives you the opportunity to take your time with either side whether it is that you're going to the right or whether you're going to the left so this allows you the opportunity to focus more on the angles on the outside for whatever reason if you have a mobile fighter or somebody that's constantly going to move with you or just because or just because you want to keep turning your opposition just never give them the opportunity to plant himself and throw something at you or counter punch you then you double pivot so instead of like just throwing a shot like you just step in or if you guys want to be a little bit more cautious then of course i step in with the jab i pivot leave my foot right here in the center pivot back and then as he turns basically to face me I beat him off of the second pivot and I'll shoot my shot right here right and then I'll, of course I'll step back so it's just a matter of just implementing it with what you think is useful for you guys or if you know your opponents or how they move or how they work or if you just know who they are then of course maybe you would like to incorporate the double pivot not least the Damato shift so this is our advanced section so what we're gonna do with the Damato shift is actually start off with the orthodox stance because that's the stance most mostly everyone's gonna be fighting out of so like I promised in the last slip rope drills I will get into a lot of detail with the Damato shift here so we're gonna start off orthodox keep it light keep it bouncy keep it explosive that way you're able to turn and basically shift over your hips a lot quicker so I like with the pivot where you step and then you turn in the in your same stance in the orthodox stance for example you're actually gonna start off by dropping this right shoulder to the left so you drop your right shoulder to the left and turn your hips this way so drop your shoulder to the left right so you're here drop your shoulder to the left make sure that you're small tight compact and then when you're here bring this foot forward and at the same time, turn your hips going that way. So it's, you guys can tell I'm in a very kind of open southpaw position. So as you guys can tell, my right hand, my right my right side is basically leading my body. So if I, if I were to step back, I would be in the southpaw position. So that's how you kind of make sure that you guys actually got the shift right. And or if I pivot off of this lead foot back to center, I'm in the southpaw stance, right? So once again, right shoulder to the left side, bring your foot forward and twist your hips from my right side over to my left side as well. So it's right, 
to left and make sure that my hips are kind of open right here so make sure that I basically turn from this position from this left side towards my right side so from my left side towards my right side with my hips boom and this allows me the opportunity to shoot my shot So from right here, I could actually do two, one or two things. So if I really wanted to get back into my orthodox stance, I could start from this southpaw position. As I step in with the jab, I'm going to drop my left shoulder to my right side doing the opposite thing. I'm actually going to turn this right, this right hip over to my left side. And that basically should get me back into the orthodox stance. Boom. And then from this position, of course, I can attack off the orthodox stance and step out. So as you guys can tell, I'm back in the orthodox position. Left side is leaving my body right. If I were to turn this way, you guys can clearly see I'm orthodox. I like to teach it that way first, just so you guys can get a feel of the southpaw position. But it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. Maybe you guys actually want to cut over to the to the right side first, right? As an orthodox fighter, so that's just that's the left. So all you gotta do is just basically bring this left shoulder towards the right and just kind of like pop your pop your hips going this way, right? So you can start orthodox and go southpaw or you could be in the orthodox stance and just go orthodox right next thing you could also do is start from the southpaw stance and go orthodox so from the southpaw stance now you're going to drop your left shoulder onto the right side basically change your position this way and now you're in the orthodox stance Once again, I'm here in the orthodox stance, actually coming from the southpaw stance, right? And if I really wanted to go back into a southpaw position, now I drop my right shoulder towards my left side again, get like the center, come over here, boom, 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 I'm southpaw again. Another thing that you guys could actually do with this shift is actually slide out, so go from side to side, so you guys could actually be an orthodox fighter, shift over to the right side, right, to become a southpaw fighter from the southpaw stance. You just slide forward, bring your hips this way, and this allows you the opportunity to go orthodox again. Boom, 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 and then just pivot out this way. that you guys can actually utilize the same steps using the southpaw stance okay after the southpaw stance i'm going orthodox boom, boom. i'm gonna shift my body going that way and i'm southpaw and i just pivot right so it's that easy man just kind of slippery right there
but with this the model ship you guys could actually get very creative with it there's a bunch of different exits that are presented to you guys and at the same time it allows you the opportunity to stay in the opposite side or in the opposite stance for quite a while or for a little bit for a couple of seconds if i'm being honest for the most part you guys saw me, saw me kind of like keep my punches kind of tight and short just because of the fact that most of the time that the model shift or this shift to the side is usually done at a very close range so there's not going to be any point to like fully extend your punches but it's never it's never a bad thing to actually practice it that way you could actually fully extend on the punches if you guys really wanted to but for the sake of this video i just kind of like kept it real short because a lot of the examples that you're going to see on screen there are a lot of quick short punches like you saw in the video you guys could actually go from orthox to orthox or you go for, from orthox to southpaw using the opposite angle and the opposite stance or you guys can start from southpaw and go from southpaw to southpaw or from southpaw and convert yourself into orthodox that will be the end of this video hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you guys do try these drills at home uh, uh, basically upload a video on instagram or on youtube and just tag me or send me a dm somewhere and i'll i'll, I'll gladly take a look at it i'll probably repost it on my pages too as well so yeah man thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys learned a lot from me today uh till next time